number three. I hate when people say they want this, quote unquote, this thing, but really only want something else. And it's not what they told me. Most of this gets down to mediation. Um, and my number five on here was, and you guys can talk about this, you've already sort of answered it. Is this China all over again, just less developed? Oh, okay, so part of this learning about the culture thing that I do in the classroom, I ask a load of questions. Which I'm sure you're gonna have to stop at some point. Why? Yeah, because that's gonna make it great. I'm sure somebody's going to complain about that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive that that's gonna be a bone of contention for the management at this place. Okay. I'm just. Does that happen to you? Like I, what? That situation where you're doing something completely normal and then it's just, it comes up and it's like, oh man. Well, that was mostly in Mexico. So but that was because of the Mexicans. There's a there's a woman in one of my classes that's engaged, and so we were talking about uh, cultural traditions here and things that you have to do in order to get married. And um, a lot of their customs are very similar to China, if not exactly the same as China. Like paying the dowry and the, the, the man has to purchase a home and furnish the home before they can get married. And there's just a lot of things that are very similar or the same. And so... Keep talking, I'm doing um, well in this chair. We were talking... One day about um, holidays, and in the book it, it gives all these holidays. But they're Western holidays, like Christmas and Easter and Valentine's. And so I'm asking the the students, like, you know, what do you do for these days? Do you celebrate them? How do you celebrate them? And we get to Santa Claus. It's in the in one of the things, and so they're asking me questions about Santa Claus. Why why do we teach our children about Santa Claus? And I said it started like most parents start out with Santa Claus as trying to keep the magic and mystery of the holiday. I said, but what it ends up turning into is a tool of manipulation. If you don't do these things, Santa won't bring you that toy you wanted. And so they were telling me that their parents have something that they do here too. Like if you don't behave, I'm gonna send you to the rat's room. And they think that there's a room somewhere where they send naughty children or terrible children that's a room full of rats and it's dark and they just put these children there overnight. And I asked them, I'm like, did all of your parents tell you this? And for three classes, all of their parents had told them that. Three groups of students, all of their parents had told them that. Only one group had like two students who were like, no, my parents never did that. The other thing they were telling me was that um, if you don't go to bed on time, there will be a witch that comes and eats you. That's not what the hell. What? Well, they have Soul and Gretel, right? That's the witch that eats how that children. works, but they, but she lures them in, not she rolls up on you and starts gnawing on you. <laughs> so then, in, in my she, no. the third thing was, we were talking about, or no, this was still the tradition stuff, like the, the things parents tell kids, and they were saying that if you don't finish your food, say there's a dish that you don't like, and, and you, you know, the kids say, I don't want to eat it, the parents will tell them, that your uneaten food will follow you around on Judgment Day. And so I said, like, you'll have to eat it on Judgment Day. And the one girl said, I don't know, but when I was a child, I always pictured a plate of the food chasing me around the Hall of Judgment. Like, it was going to attack me because I didn't eat it. I, and it's so weird. It, it, it's their culture, but... 
I mean, it's those types of things that I really enjoy about teaching in new places. They wanted to know the things that our parents tell us and, you know, it was a cultural exchange. The Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, the Boogie Man, you know. Yeah. We were laughing so hard at the whole one girl that like, couldn't catch her breath. She had tears and there and I said, did, did all your parents tell you this? In all the classes I asked, the only two students who didn't get told about the rats room were the only ones who weren't told about the judgment of the food family of judgment day. The rest of them? Everybody had been told the same thing. Yeah. I don't live with, with teachers because I was like, what about Santa Claus? And you're like, well. <laughs> I mean, St. Nicholas. Listen, when you were four, if you were in preschool, all the kids believed in Santa Claus. And you took it upon yourself to try to educate them about Santa Claus. And so the teacher called and she's like, Karen, can you do something? Because the I got upset parents and upset grandparents. Maybe you shouldn't lie to your kids then. He got crying children. And so when I picked Aaron up from school, I had to say, listen, people can believe whatever they want to believe. It's not your job to tell them what their that their beliefs are wrong. You can just look at them and say, okay. All right, and of course, my then four-year-old went off on this rant about how grown-ups shouldn't lie to children. That's not nice. It's not respectful. Blah 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 blah. Rant started at four. So it's even now. Like I ask the, the students, like, will you tell your children these things? We always ask this. I mean, like even in China, when we had students who would tell us crazy stuff. I'll, I would ask, are you, you, are you, are you gonna, gonna keep going? Are you gonna keep doing the things that you didn't like? And it's not just things that they're told, it's all of their the behaviors. Um, it's the things that they recognize as being negative. That's what I would focus on. So you say you don't like this thing, then when you have children, are you going to do it? Basically asking, are you going to succumb to societal pressure to keep it going? Right. Now, I only have one student with children, and he says they don't do these things. But he's also the child, he's the one, one of the ones, that didn't go, didn't get told about the rat's room, and he didn't get told about the uneaten food on Judgment Day or the witches. So, but he know he knew about them. He's the only one with children, and he said, we don't do that. So what did everybody else say when you said, would you do it? It made them stop, like, the one girl who was crying, she's like, I never thought about not doing it, because it's just a part of how we, we do it. I said, but did you like it? She's like, no, it petrified me. I had nightmares. I was afraid to go to sleep at night, thinking the witch was going to come and get me. But isn't that the point? But the witch was supposed to make sure if you didn't go to bed, then the witch was going to come and get you. But now she's afraid to go to sleep because she thinks the witch is going to come and get her. And I and but so, her ass was in bed though. Right. And I said, didn't so at the point, will you do this to your children? And she's like, I don't think I will. Remember, we we used people used to say that what was it, dangling your feet off the bed, something's going to reach out from under the bed. Oh yeah. Feet. That was. I mean that. We've, our culture has stuff like that. Absolutely. There's something in the closet, that's why you need to go to sleep, you know, and then, then the child is scared, and so then you have to check the closet every night and say, no, nothing's in there, kind of thing. We came up with monster spray for that. The lavender and the lavender oil and water, and the kids could spray it in their room to keep the monsters away. I mean. And then the lavender water makes them fall asleep. (laughs) I mean, that's, that idea of. Controlling people through misinformation. I it's, think that's just universal. It's, yeah, it's, it's a little, Yeah. If you want to follow the traveling cars, you can find us at the YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, iTunes, Spotify, or any place good podcasts are sold for no money. 
at the Traveling Fars. If you like the Instagram or the Twitters, Traveling Fars. If you like email and you want to send it to the Karen lady, travelingfars at gmail.com. Are we getting any emails at yes. travelingfars at gmail.com? We are, in fact. I I'm, hear nothing about this. So. I am going to be speaking at a, at a conference for families who would like to learn about traveling abroad, living abroad, finding work abroad. And that was an email that I got in the, in fact, two I've got. Two of those where so we've got two whole emails at the no, email address traveling fars at gmail.com. We get a lot of emails, oh. of, but not all is of them. Is it all junk mail? Um, some of them are like, hey, we want you to be our brand ambassador. I'll be a brand ambassador, but we're going to do it on your dime. Right. You have to order the thing and then. That's called a customer. Right. <laughs> that's not a brand I have to buy it from you and you're not giving me anything. And then that's just a combined. So you get my money? And you get an endorsement? I don't think so. All right. And the blog space. The travelingfars.blueberry.net. No ease in the blueberry, which blueberry was messing up. And I can't figure out why our last podcast is not coming out on the blueberry. It did something weird in the thing. And it's not showing up. So I'm going to try to fix that and get this uploaded. What was the date for that one? It was last not last week, but the week before, it did not go up. It did not come out. It did not even post on Blueberry. Well. Like the, the all the writing about the post is on the, was on there. I took off the post because there was nothing there. There was no audio. And then, so it showed that, but then at the bottom where you have the player, it wasn't there. I noticed so. something on iTunes podcast now. You can do, um, the episode web page. So if you can't find one of the podcasts that you want to hear, you can touch episode web page and it'll just take you right to the blueberry. So now we got to put that in the thing. From once we get the interwebs. Podcast. Not Hopefully one day we'll get the internet and hear it at home and then we can, you know, be better on the uploading. If you go to the YouTubes, things are still dropping on the YouTube. Old episodes, stuff is still going there. Um, so, no, you, you can still get your YouTube fix from the travel parts. Are, we, still going. are we going to be doing the Nat Pod Pomo this year? Nat Pod Pomo, uh, I have a feeling that I, I mean, I, let's put it like this. If I can edit, which Aaron's computer, our main workhorse for editing, is having its issues now. Um, but if I can edit, then we can still have an episode of something come out and I pro- we could probably get one episode on YouTube per day or at least close to it. But we could never do it on Blueberry anyway. All of our NatPod Homo stuff had to go to YouTube. So... Maybe we could do more uploads, but we got to get internet here for me to do it because I can't, I can't upload. Like if we did something say for 10 minutes because we were walking somewhere or we were doing a thing or we just wanted to talk about something real quick and then upload it. We've got to be able to upload it from here. We can't, there's no other place to upload it. So So we definitely can't use our phone. Again, did that check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash the traveling farms. We've got she can't things. see this, but you can see this. I can see it. It's, can, it's down there. Can they Thank see the, the links for the merch shops that have new merch on it's them? In the description. The link in the jewel things that they tell you to do. But There's no some, is the merch shop. There are some Halloween merch up. Hello. There's some new Keegan art up. There's some new Raptor Claws. Art up and the, the, the GoFundMe thing, and it might be up there. It if, might you, be if you'd like to send us a, a Cash App gift for our birthday, we would be happy to accept it. And you could do dollar sign the traveling bars, is our Cash App, or you could join our Patreon. We have gift. You we already talked about it. Yeah, I know I Why are you going back to Patreon? I already flashed it up here. I'm not putting it back. Uh, uh, Look, man, you know, we don't want to hear you, we don't want to hear your spiel. The, the tiers? Go check out the Patreon. Check out the tiers. We got tiers. We got tiers. 
as well as tears. That's it. That's all I got. Say goodbye to the people, man. Say goodbye to the people. Bye. Peace. Thank you.